Thank you very much. It's very nice to be here with you all tonight. It's a funny thing, you know, a lot of people overseas tend to think that we're an English group, but as you know, that's not quite true because we all come from Australia. And being Australians, we tend to sing a lot of Australian folk songs. And this next one is all about a wonderful character that we have out there called a swagman. And the song goes on to tell about the swagman. Excuse me. What? Now, if you're going to do it, do it properly. What do you mean, if you're going to do it, do it properly? Look, there's probably a lot of people here tonight and watching that don't know what a swagman is, so why don't you tell them? Including you. Yes. <laughs> All right, Bruce. Well, look, see, a, a swagman, he's a bum, he's a tramp. You know, he wanders around from town to town, he sleeps wherever he can, he never changes his clothes, and he drinks whatever he can lay his hands on. That's no way to talk about your father. <laughs> First we left old England's shore, such yards as we were told, as far folks in Australia could pick up lumps of gold. So when we got to Melbourne town, we were ready soon to sleep. And get even with the captain, we scuttled from the ship with my swaggle on my shoulder, back Billy in my hand. I travel the bush of Australia. Where some of us got mighty thin And some got sleek and flat Some tried the luck at Bendigo And some met fiery green I made a fortune in a day And spent it in a week With my swaggle on my shoulder Black pretty in my hand I travel the bush of Australia Tracks I tramp, no even out of sight. The swag's on my left shoulder, and then on my right. And then I take it on my back, and off the front and line. These are the best of Tucker tracks, so I'll stay here to my life. With the swag all on my shoulder, that pity in my hand. I travel the bush of Australia. Thank you very much. Well, that's the sound that we're associated with today. But we haven't always sounded like that. In fact, we used to be quite good. <laughs> now, I guess it all started about five years ago, back in our hometown of Melbourne. Keith and I played rock and roll. We lost 5-0. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, surprisingly enough, we did all right for ourselves. But soon, soon we were working in the best coffee lounge in Melbourne. I washed and Keith dried. <laughs> was singing for his supper, singing for his supper and singing his own songs. There was a fellow we met there called Bruce. There he is over there. That's, that's called Bruce. Now, now some, people, some people compose songs. Well, Bruce decomposed them. <laughs> now, he used to write and sing some very nice songs, just like this next one. Looking from my window at the freshly fallen snow It sparkles as it tumbles upon the street below The crackle of the fire is laughing in my ear the room is warm and sleepy, and I wish you could be here. Sundays in this town, there's not a lot for me to do. I've been listening to some records, and my thoughts return to you. I tried to read the paper, but the words aren't very clear. I know there's something missing And I wish you could be here I keep listening for your footsteps For your key turned in the door I sure could use your company But we've been through that before I think the winter's going to last a long time this year I got lots of empty time to fill I wish you could be here Well, we joined up with Bruce and then we went looking for a fourth member to our group. Then into my office one day walked a singer with a terrible reputation. She played the most dangerous tambourine in town. But it wasn't long before she introduced us all to traditional jazz. Well, I'm on my way to heaven, we shall not be moved. On my way to heaven, we shall not be moved. And if our group had a special sound, I guess that's about it. But we took our special sound around all the producers and all the recording companies in Melbourne, and they expressed their enthusiasm in one word. Emigrate. <laughs> <laughs> so we came to London. 
That's when we started recording songs like this next one. And right now, we'd like you all to use your very vivid imaginations, and we'd like you to picture all the little girls and boys that you know. As they all go home tonight, they all jump into bed. And they pull the sheets up over their little pink ears. <laughs> and they all go to sleep. <laughs> and along comes... <laughs> Bruce. 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 <laughs> Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Uh, no, you're not sure. Of course you don't mind. You've just ruined my introduction to a very nice, very sweet song. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean You're just that. a stupid musician. Look, I may be stupid, but I'm not a musician. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, along comes the Sandman and his very special train, all set to take them all for a morning town ride. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Now, the boys would like to sing a song written especially for them, Rattler. <laughs> Me? Uh, Apple. Hey, now you've embarrassed me tonight in front of all these people and about 15 million others as well. <laughs> you didn't introduce the number properly. You didn't even wait for me to come over you here. You can't to start stop the me song. in the middle of look, an introduction. Look, again. let's be a little bit proud of what we're doing here. Let's have a little bit of cooperation amongst ourselves. Your job is My to job. introduce a song so that everyone knows what's going on, including me. So please tell the people. And tell them that you wrote the song. Yes. <laughs> All right, Bruce. All right, that's fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, a song written especially for the three of us by none other than Bruce. So who better to introduce the song to you than Keith? Well, it's not really a happy song, not or a, happy song. Sad song, it's or a sad a song, or a fast song. And not a fast song. Couldn't really say it was a yeah. slow no, song. No, it's not. A cowboy. Song. It's not even a Christmas song, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, Bruce, do you think you'd rather introduce the song? Oh, Keith, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this song is called Rattler, Rattler, or When They Operated on Father, They Opened Mother's Mail. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Setting suns behind me, there'll be many more before I'm through. Rattle and take me home to my baby, one way ticket bringing me back to you. Right now, we'd like to leave the stage to Judith and a very beautiful song that was written especially for her by Tom Springfield. The song is called The Olive Tree.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Last April I recorded that song, and just soon after that I started writing songs myself with a friend of mine, David Riley. One of these songs is on our last album, and it's called Colours of My Life. <laughs> the highlight of the evening, the boys will render for you a melodious melody divine. One divine melody coming up. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
you've seen the psychedelic part of our act. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, uh, you may have noticed from the repertoire that we've presented so far tonight that uh, two songwriters feature very strongly. The first, naturally enough, is Tom Springfield, and the other one is Bruce. We... Uh, <laughs> we'd, <laughs> we'd like now to do a medley of uh, one of his songs. Eh? <laughs> it's called Angelina's Always Friday. Always Friday, Angeline is spring forever, winter Angeline could never be. Mr. Wilson, cool and smart, but he's now that she is passing, bowing her politely to me. The week is gone, it's the
Thank you very much. As you know, tonight is our last concert together. And I'm afraid this next song is our last song together. And I guess at a time like this, there are a lot of things that you could probably say, but I think that really there are only two things. And that is from all of us very, very sincerely. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And goodbye, because I'm afraid tonight the carnival really is over. <laughs> Down the street.